Tonight only on Fox an only son and only grandson is dead after a driver left him for dead. Exactly one year ago, troopers say Dalton Taylor was killed by a driver after the suspected driver was charged and he was later released on bond. The family believes proper justice has yet to be served. Fox Carolina Zach Perlutsky has this family story and Zach, I know they gathered in what sounds like one of Dalton's favorite spots today. They did shale. The family and friends of Dalton gathered at Lake Cunningham Park in Greer, a place they say he spent a lot of time. A year after his death, the pain still remains very raw for his loved ones. He was so many things in one. He had a big heart. He had so many friends. He impacted so many people's lives. Dalton Taylor may be gone, but the effect he had on people is still extremely alive. You could be having the worst day and he would just come up to you, make it your best day. He knew how to make you smile and laugh. He never really had a whole lot and he made the best out of what he had. That spirit was stripped from their lives exactly one year ago Saturday when troopers say Taylor was hit on his moped by another vehicle along Highway 11 and then left for dead. I'm disgusted and that man should be put away. And I'm more mad right now than I was then, I believe, as each day goes by. Troopers arrested the driver, Randall Price, charging him with hit and run resulting in death. Court records show Price got out on a $75,000 surety bond, which was posted in early November. This is not fair that I lost my only son, our only son. He's gone. He was the only, the only grandson. He's not never coming back to us, you know. As the Taylor family waits for a trial, all they have are photos and memories. Gathering at a favorite spot for Dalton's, one where his sister says they used to walk and fish often. And all we want is justice, justice for our child. Ann Price was last in court back in August. No trial date has been scheduled as of yet. Shale, back to you.